Long ago, the Orcish Horde was corrupted by the Burning Legion and lured to the world of Azeroth. For generations, the Orcs made war upon the human kingdoms of Stormwind and Lordaeron. Though the Horde was ultimately defeated, a visionary young warchief named Thrall rose to lead his people in their darkest hour. Under Thrall's rule, the Orcs freed themselves from the chains of demonic corruption and embraced their shamanistic heritage. After years of wandering, the Orcs founded their own kingdom in the harsh wastelands of Durotar. Based in the warrior city of Orgrimmar, they stand ready to destroy all who would challenge their supremacy. As a proud defender of Durotar, it is your duty to crush your enemies, both seen and unseen. For the nefarious agents of the Burning Legion still wander the land. Hello y'all, I'm Brushfire Windragon, and welcome back to Vanilla WoW. This time I'm playing on the Horde side. What do you need? Your place in the world. Finally, you are of age, Katana. <laughs> the age to battle in the name of the Horde, to conquer for the glory of the War Chief. Yes. Caltemp looks you over. You will do nicely. No doubt you wish to find a great dragon or demon and strangle it with your bare hands. But perhaps it would be wise to start in something less. Dangerous, he laughs. Report to Gornek. He should be able to assign a task better suited to a young shaman. You will find Gornek in the den to the west. Go forth to victory. Hey. Gornek's right over here. Blood and thunder. The Valley of Trials will temper even the weakest into a warrior worthy to join the, the Horde. Those who cannot rise to its test will be left to bake in the scorching desert sun. That doesn't sound good. Another one of Cal Tuck's recruits, huh? A sorry state of affairs we find ourselves in if this is the best the Horde can produce. No matter. By the time we think you're ready to leave the Valley, you'll be a proud warrior of the Horde. The first order of business will be to put a little strength in your backbone. I could send you out to the Baron St. Kodo, but well, in all honestly, you're more useful to us alive than dead. I believe you will find you will find a good match with the mono boars you'll find to the north of here. Ah, uh, I would take the gloves then. For the horde. Now, of course, this will be pretty much like with uh, Madeline, uh, the gnome. So I'll just um. So it's parts like this that I'll just fast forward or skip over, you know, where she's just running and, you know, I'm not getting anywhere. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah. To go... Not here. Uh, interface. I don't really There you go, I'm more comfortable that way. <laughs> I am out of mana, what do you know? I should look in my book and see what I got. Blood Fury. Oh. I think that's all I got right now. Oh, ragged leather gloves, a ragged leather vest. Aha! Nice. <laughs> I'm very close to leveling up. Okay, I'll just whack it with my mace. Yay! Level two. What am I wearing right now? Oh, a primitive kilt. Oh. Okay. Hmm. 
Hmm, what kind of profession should I do? I think... She'll p pretty much be wearing leather the whole time, right? So maybe I should just make her a leather worker. Well, I'll have to check to see if I made Awakuni a leather worker. Strength and honor. Hmm, not bad, Katana. <laughs> but don't let it get to your head. You'll fight tougher than boars in your career. Nevertheless, you've proven yourself well. And your next trial will be against a considerably more dangerous opponent, so you'll need some extra protection. Ah, while well you were gone, a parchment came for you, Gatana. Read it when you have time. If I'm not mistaken, it came from the shaman trainer, Shikrik. Uh, she would have words with you when you're ready. Go forth to victory! Powerful warrior and awkward novice alike have fallen to the venomous sting of the scorpion. You'll find large numbers of scorpions northwest of here. Bring me ten of their tails as proof of your prowess in battle. The antidote for their sting is actually made from venom extracted from their stingers. We keep large quantities of antidote for scorpion venom on hand to heal young bloods just like you. But I'm sure you won't be needing any of that, will you? Ah, guess I'll take the uh, key. Let's see. Got nice gloves. Ah, they're a nice black color. Let's see. Loctar, sister, the elements beckon you closer and bid me to show you the path of the shaman. The spirits of our ancestors watch from beyond and swell with pride knowing you have joined our ranks. When you are ready, seek me out near the entrance to the den. It is there that I will be training others of our kind. Until then, may the wind be at your back. Shikrik, shaman trainer. Ah, oh, there she is. What can I do for you? So you have arrived. I was beginning to wonder when you would show yourself. I sent the parchment some time ago. I wasn't sure if it had arrived. But enough chatter. You're here because you have been chosen. Chosen to lead the spiritual lives of our people. You will be the conduit in which our ancestors communicate. You will have the power of the elements at your beck and call. Sundering your enemies will be child's play, healing your allies as easy as breathing. Keep these things in mind as you face new challenges and come back to me as often as you'd like. I will remain here to teach you new spells and set you on the correct path when you are ready. Go forth to the See what I can learn is a level two. Rock fighter weapon, I have no money. <laughs> Go with honor. Of course, I've got no money. I know there's somebody to sell to here. Aha! Look, Tom. I trust the Valley of Trials will teach you much, young shaman. I was sent to the Valley to guide you, but I have discovered a growing taint here. A group that calls itself the Burning Blade has a coven here in the Valley of Trials. They are skulking in a cave to the northeast, and their vile familiars have spilled from its mouth to cause havoc. As your first task against the Burning Blade, I bid you defeat these familiars. Slay many, and if you survive, return to me. Um. Guess I'll take the club. Fight well, friend. Ah, you guys are trainers. Because I know there's people to sell to around here somewhere. Aha. Uh -huh. It sure gets hot out here in the Valley of Trials. Galgar wipes his brow. If only I had some cactus apples, I could make my famous cactus apple surprise. Nothing cools you off faster than a piece of that delicious treat. I'll tell you what, Gatana. You bring me ten cactus apples, I'll make you a few portions of cactus apple surprise to take with you on your adventures. If you're interested, you can find cactus apples growing near the cactus plants around here. For the horde, what do you need? Okay. Tusk, brim, pelt, and gloves. Down. Okay, let's see what I got. Okay, and off we go! That... Yeah, that's... I guess it's just slow. It's, <laughs> it's 
something else they changed in retail so you don't have to spend so much time doing a thing ah <sighs> why people gotta be like that Okay, that's just two more apples. Oh no, run! <laughs> so I just hit you with my mace, I guess. And they just kind of squint at you. <laughs> Somebody was nice enough to give me a buff. I can't buff anybody yet. Oh, that's no good. All the vile familiars are outside. I got a belt! I mean, technically it's cloth, but at least I got a... something. Can't wear those! Was my mace. <gasps> ah, nice level three. Put on the bracers. So at least you know something. <laughs> How did I miss? Ragged leather pants. Well, that's better than the kill. Yay! I have legs! Ah. There we go. Can't use those either. Come on. Come on! Give it! Well, that's no good. Whack. Come on! Aha, uh -huh, there he is. Poor guy. Hanazwa? Shaman, I thought I would die out here with none to know of it. While I was hunting the scorpions of the valley, I came across a particularly vicious looking one. Hurling myself at it, I managed to inflict a massive blow to its claw before it closed around my leg. I wasn't ready for its stinger though, and it sliced down and into my chest, cutting into my flesh and letting my blood. Please, you must kill the scorpion for me. My honor must be upheld. I fought it up on the plateau to the south. Oh yeah, Sarkoth. Come on! There we go. Level four. Hmm. I do like Sarkoth's colorly. Color, you know? Like, um... I don't think you've seen many black scorpions in classic. I can't carry any more. Ah! Um All right, bug guy. Sarkoth's mangled claw. Uh, my father always said I would never amount to much, and here, lying beneath the tree as life seeps away, 
I'm afraid it looks like he was right. At least I wish to die knowing that my last enemy in life lays dead. My blow was not enough to kill him, but looking at the damage I inflicted gives me some small measure of pride. A small measure will be all I have to sustain myself if I die, and in that light, the short list of my life's accomplish accomplishments fills me with anger. Seeing the deed you have done for me stills my heart. I cannot fall so easily. I must endure. But it remains that I cannot make the trek back to the den unassisted. Please, Katana, return to the den and tell Gornak of my situation. Perhaps he can help me. Ah. I guess I'll just take the leggings and sell them. Oh yeah, sit up, Mahanazwa. Uh, yeah, let me finish killing these other scorpions. Level four, and just four more tails. Inventory is full. That looks like it cost a little more. Okay, two more tails. I can't carry any more. Okay, here I can turn in some quests, finally. Speak, friend. Have you finished collecting cactus apples? Wonderful, Katana. As promised, here is your cactus apple surprise, but it's a little something extra. Fifty cents. May your blades never dull. Yeah, I've done well, Gatana. Although the vile familiars were merely pets of the darker powers within the Burning Blade, your success against them foretells of greater deeds ahead. Primitive Club. Uh, oh yeah, I gotta sell stuff. Why did I say it like that? I'm not entirely sure. What are you for? I'm on fire, evidently. Cactus Apple became Cactus Apple Surprise. <laughs> Strength and honor. Okay. Through my divinations, I see that an item of power hides deep within the Burning Blade Coven, guarded by beasts and black magic. It is called the Burning Blade Medallion, and your next test is to find it and remove it from the coven. But be wary. For the medallion may be possessed by an agent of the Burning Blade, and if so, then the agent's power would be greater than the familiars you have already encountered. Go, Gatana. You will find the coven in the cave to the north and west. Oh, so I'll get dust-covered leggings. String. Ah! Sub-sub. The carapace of a scorpion isn't so thick that the strength of a determined warrior will be d deterred. Uh, strike strongly and without doubt, and the scorpion should prove easy prey. This, there is an important lesson that you must take away from fighting scorpions. The smallest or largest of opponents can send you to your doom. In fierce combat, any number of things can prove your downfall. I have no more to teach you, Gatana. You have done well, and I will watch your progress with interest. From your description of the beast, I believe you must be speaking of Sarkoth. It is no wonder that Hanazwa was overtaken by it. 
aid will be dispatched to him immediately. Trouble yourself no more with Hanazawa's plight. However, I must say, I am most impressed to hear that you brought Sarkoth to death. It is a feat to be proud of, Katana, and that you would have would fight for a stranger's honor while other tasks occupied your time. Your own honor is heightened. For the whore. <gasps> ah, it's a little cloak. I like that. Okay, I'm back at the cave. I have to fight my way through. <laughs> oh, thanks, dude. I hope I can get Katana, like, some really cool hammer and a shield. That's gonna take, you know, 56 levels, right? <laughs> ah! It's an actual shield! I have level 5! I think I forgot a quest. I, I did. I did forget a quest. I mean, like, I remembered that I had to come get a pick, and then I just never picked up the quest. Ah! What you want? The time is now, young shaman. You've grown strong and your spirit endures like the earth. Following the shaman's path shows you have wisdom before even proving yourself. The element of earth will guide your destiny, becoming part of you if you are ready. But you must stand before the earth itself. If you are ready, then you will see things only shaman know of. Take out the fell stalkers to the north and take from them two of their hooves. Return to me then and we shall see speak more of your future. Later. I know there's another one. Okay, I made it back to the cave. Uh, maybe I can find the medallion this time. Okay, there's a hoof. Okay. Ah! There's a person over there! And there's the medallion! Yes! Greetings. Is your task complete, Katana? Do you have the Burning Blade medallion? You retrieved it! Well done! Your efforts within the, uh... Burning Blade Coven are key in rooting out this cult in the Valley of Trials, but I fear they have further aims in our land. We have not seen the end of them. Your trials against the Burning Blade are finished here in the Valley, but I want you to report your findings. Go to the Troll Village of Shenzhen and seek out Master Godrin. Shenzhen Village is east out of the Valley, then right at the Fork. Tell Godrin of the Burning Blade that they have reached the Valley of Trials. Discover from him if they have yet reached Sinjin. Go, Katana, and be f swift. I fear the evil found in the Burning Blade Coven is but the herald of a larger threat. Go with honor. Can't go yet. Let's see these leggings. Oh, nice! I see my legs! <laughs> Hello, man. Patience is Earth's greatest virtue. The earth witnesses the cycle of all things, the wet mountains becoming deserts, rivers becoming canyons. The earth is the most stubborn and wise of all the elements, and it does not tolerate impatience. The earth beckons you now because the time of conflict draws near. When you return to me successful, then you shall be that much closer to being made whole. Others will be envious of your wisdom and hate you for their ignorance. Excellent. Your success shows that you are prepared. Of all the elements, Earth represents the foundation of all things. It is your strength, your stamina, and your patience. Earth will protect you, but only if shown the proper respect. Like the other elements, even Earth can be fickle. Earth is the basis for life, and by observing its laws, you will gain greater, gain greater wisdom. Never forget the secrets Earth shares with you. I shall make a sapta for you now, and by accepting it, you will realize your path. A sapta is a drink created to bind our spirits to the elements. Fused with magic, the potion will allow the strong will to see the elements as no one else can. Your spilt will be connected to the element the sapta was created for. 
and only a select few shaman know the recipe. The Sapta is always drunk in a holy place, and never anywhere else. Remember that. Seek out Spirit Rock, southwest of here. It is found at the end of the hidden path. Drink your Sapta there, and well, you shall see. See ya later. Hello! That's real. Why are you so far over there? That's the problem! Bravo. Curse the peons. They work hard gathering lumber from the trees of the valley, but they're always taking naps. I need someone to help keep the peons in line. You look like the right orc for my task. Here, you take this blackjack and use it on any lazy peons you find sleeping on the job. A good smack will get them right back to work. Return the blackjack when you're done. Lousy slacking peons. There you are. Okie dokie. Oh, okay, I'll get back to work, Katana. <laughs> Me, not that kind of orc. I love that. I can do that. Me, not that kind of orc. <laughs> Okay. Aha! Uh -huh. Something need doing? Yes. I can do that. <laughs> what? Okay. Okay, back to the foreman. Loktar. No good lazy. Eh? You have my blackjack? Did you catch any peons sleeping on the job? Good, good. Maybe they'll think twice before slacking next time. Thanks for the help. Katana, you are a dependable orc. Can I count on you for another task? Some time ago, I was surveying the cave to the north for minerals, and I left my favorite pick behind. When I later, later returned to retrieve it, I found the cave filled with vicious beasts. Will you go into the cave, the burning blade coven, and get my pick? I left it in a chamber with waterfalls. My pick has a spell on it so you can see it in the dark, so you don't have to worry about what, about finding it, just what's guarding it. Strength. Alright, back to the cave! Oh, hey, boots! Oh, the belt, that belt will be better than what I had on. That's an awesome looking pig. I got it! Speak, friend. Have you entered the Burning Blade Coven, Katana? Did you find my pig? Great, you got it! Thanks a lot, Katana. This is my favorite pig. Now if my peons ever finish chopping down these trees, maybe we can find a nice cave to mine. Be safe. Woohoo! Level 6! Seek out Spirit Rock southwest of here. It's found at the end of the hidden path. Okay, I finally found the hidden path. It's way down here. I was over here earlier because there's that big old tr there's that tree at the end over there. Finally, that took way too long. I got lost. Ah, Gatana, pleased is the earth to have you here. Bound together in body and spirit, you will go forward knowing that the mountains are your strength, the plains your patience, and the world itself your essence. Standing before the earth humbly is all that is required of you for you to pass this rite. But the others are not as passive. They may be chaotic and often violent, but such is the nature of the elements. Dual natures opposing one another. You must come to learn these things intricately. 
Take this rough quartz from me and bring it to Kanaga Earthcaller as proof of our meeting. He will craft a totem for you, and this pebble will be the heart of it. As small as it may seem, you will come to find that size does not matter, and that even the smallest of things can outlast many others. Be patient, Katana. Remain strong. And seek wisdom. This is what Earth asks of you. In the end, you shall become one with the Earth. Respect it as it shall respect you. Ah. Ooh. So, got to make my way back. Aw, those little bitty Earth elementals. How you doing, man? I wish to be the first to welcome you to fully to you fully to the first of four paths that will forever lead you in your destiny. If you have the stone the earth gave to you, I will give you the totem it promised. If not, then be gone with you until you have found your way. Excellent. The totem I will craft for you is more than a symbol of your status among shaman and has abilities beyond that. One use of the totem is a focus for spells. Those spells are tied to the earth, and as you earn greater and greater wisdom, more of the earth's abilities will be made accessible to you. The trainers will know when you are ready for greater knowledge, but for now, take this earth totem. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. What do you need? Yeah. I forgot to buy <laughs> earlier. Got it! Farewell. Alright. I think that that will be all today. It ran a little longer than I intended, but uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and this is Bushfire Wind Dragon signing off.